Welcome to the Love Feast. The Love Feast is a Moravian tradition that John Wesley saw being performed here in the United States when he came here from England. And this tradition allows us to celebrate the meals that Jesus shared with his disciples, but it is not to be confused with Holy Communion. John Wesley felt that this was an, a wonderful idea to where communities could still share a meal during the times that they didn't have someone who could bless the elements. So any lay person can perform this type of service. The service I'll be performing is comes from our own Order of St. Luke's here in the Illinois Great Rivers. And so I welcome you. I've asked that you each have your Bible, some bread or crackers, water or tea, and a candle. This tradition varies by area and to area. Some places have sweet rolls. Some places have complete meals. Some people have a very um, sweet and creamy tea that they drink. So this does vary. So I ask that you join me. Let us recognize the presence of God. God is with us. We are not alone. Christ is with us. The risen one has met us, blessed and fed us on the road that leads us home. The community of the Holy Spirit is with us. We gather with the communion of saints and light throughout history and with God's people around the world. With brothers and sisters absent in body but united in spirit, let us pray. Holy One, Trinity of grace and power, maker and mother, beloved and lover, Father and friend, thanks be to you, O God. You are ever the Father who gives us bread, not stones. You are the mother who never forgets we're her own. From the beginning of life to the closing of time, you are the one who is with us to the end. And so, with all who breathe on earth and all who sing in heaven, we praise your name and join in creation's song. Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices whose wondrous things has done in whom this world rejoices. The one eternal God whom earth and heaven adore for thus it was, is now and shall be forevermore. Their first reading comes from John chapter eight, verse 12. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. You may light your candle. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. You are a risen Lord in whom light has conquered darkness. Let us sit silently in the light, feeling the power and the presence of the risen Christ. Our second reading comes from John chapter 14, verse 6. And Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Here in our hands 
is the story of God's covenant of steadfast love with God's people. We are assured of God's presence with us at all times and places, even in the midst of fear and difficulty. Let us sit quietly and absorb the stories of God's love and grace that will sustain you wherever you are. Our third reading comes from John chapter 7, verses 37 and 38. On the last day, the climax of the festival, Jesus stood and shouted to the crowds, Anyone who is thirsty may come to me, and anyone who believes in me may come and drink. For the scriptures declare, rivers of living water will flow from his heart. Without water, there can be no life. In creation, the Spirit of God hovered over the water and brought forth light. God brought John to the Jordan to call us to repentance. We were nourished in the water of the womb. We were baptized by the water and the Spirit into God's family. Water reminds us of the gifts of creation that God has so abundantly given us and the love and grace we have all received. Drink this water slowly. Feel it flow into your body. And know that God's love is flowing into your body and soul right now. fourth reading comes from John chapter 6 verse 35 and Jesus said to them I am the bread of life whoever comes to me will never be hungry and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty take a piece of bread in your hands Christ broke the bread to feed the multitudes Christ broke bread and formed a new covenant with his closest friends and with all who break bread in remembrance of him. And Christ was made, to know, made known to his disciples in the breaking of bread. Bread reminds us that just like individual grains of wheat are gathered together to make a single loaf, we who are scattered are one body in Christ. Now break and eat the piece of bread that you are holding. Remember the times you have received bread in the sacrament of Holy Communion. Remember those who have gathered with you. Remember the presence of Christ at that moment. And be assured that Christ is with you in every moment of your life. Now sit silently and allow God, Christ's love to surround you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, light of the world, you speak to us words of life. 
call forth in us rivers of living water, and you feed our deepest hunger. In trying times, in times of loneliness or confusion, in times we feel most alone, remind us that we are never alone, for you are always with us. Hear us now, Father, and pray for us in our weakness with sighs too deep for words as we lift up those whom we love, those present with us, and those from whom we are separated. the prisoners and those held captive physically, mentally, or spiritually. The sick and the suffering. Those who care for the sick, both medical caregivers and families who wait and watch with them. Those who mourn the loss of loved ones, the loss of freedom, the loss of security, the loss of a livelihood, or the loss of a sense of order and control. Those with more questions than answers, and all who long for your guiding light for their path. The lonely, the isolated, and those who long for a loving touch. Those who, whose remaining days on this earth are few, and for those walking in the valley of the shadow of death. Those whom we too easily forget, and those whose needs are only known by you. God of compassion, hear our prayers. Fill us with your grace and inspire us to be instruments of mercy and hope. For we pray in Christ's name. Amen. When we are living, it is in Christ Jesus. And when we are dying, it is in the Lord. Both in our living and in our dying, we belong to God. In these days of anxiety and uncertainty, May we go forth in Christ's name into all our interactions, digital or otherwise, as a people of hope. And may we be for the world, the body of Christ, broken and shared to be a blessing for all. May God bless us and keep us. May God's face shine upon us and be gracious to us. And may God look upon us with kindness and give us peace. Amen.